are so crazy. Okay, I'm going to start with what's on the table over here in a little bit. We're going to, oh, there, there is somewhere. Uh, we're, we're going to actually show how you make these petals, but that looks like a vase of flowers. Look how fine that is. And I, I had to come up and touch it, and I was thinking, yeah. it, oh, it looks like a real flower. Well, I guess that's the point, right? Absolutely. Okay, how this all started for you? You've always been a creative person, yes. But you worked in kind of creative things in a different way. Absolutely, I did murals and artwork and uh, just texture finishes on people's walls, and um, it just kind of segued to cake for me. It was it just kind of segued to cake. Segway to cake. Well, you know, it's art, it's texture, it's it's all kinds of hand painting. You know, you yeah. Can do anything on cake. And then at what point? Because it's one thing to make one and go, oh, I think that's cool. But yeah. when other people start commenting on it, at what point do you decide I can make a living doing this? You know, I I started doing it for my niece Destiny, and maybe by her like tenth birthday, I was like, ooh, I can totally do this. Yeah, because you know, everyone was saying, yeah, who did the cake? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that. Eat, eat more chicken. The Chick fil A uh, cake right there. Uh, you, but you can get as creative as people want to be. I know you did one for me because you're like, Deborah, she's about the purse and shoes. Look there at that go. right there. All right? And then books. You can, whatever somebody comes up with, you can absolutely bring to a, a, a dessert. And then look at the dog right there. I, I went up and I wanted to pet that one. Right? And I got icing all over my hands. But they're amazing what you can come up with. And of course, wedding cakes, but birthday cakes, and yes. cake cakes just because you want one. Uh, the name Chocolate Llama. Yes. How did that come about? Um, I used to read my kiddos a book called Is Your Mama a Llama? And for 25 years, they've called me Llama. So the Chocolate Llama just kind of it seemed natural. Yeah. So, yeah okay, we have some, some cakes here on the set yeah. as well uh, that just kind of show how creative you can get. You can do almost anything that comes to mind. And I love, love, love this dinosaur <laughs> right over here. This T Rex. <laughs> I'm not sure we can get that closed on air, but this T Rex has had a mani pedi. She's got the, the <laughs> glittery mani pedi right there. What is the toughest thing about this? Because we, we, where do you even start with something like this? You know, um, structure. The, the structure is the toughest, I think. And my husband is amazing. He helps me with structure all the time. But um, as soon as you get structure going and everything's set in stone, you just, I go crazy and just do my art. Yeah. It's just, it's so Aww, fun. But there's my granddaughter, Scout. Yeah. How many times does the cake not make it? Um, you know what? I haven't had that happen yet. No, no really? Yeah. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, or have you just like made one and it just didn't, it, it didn't do what you thought it was going to do? No, not yet. Oh, you were awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know? Nice. Well, I have her cake and eat it. <laughs> okay. okay, looking at, of course, with cakes, so obviously it's, it's how it tastes is the ultimate yes, thing, right? absolutely. But then there's texture that you can, yes. you can add on to something. Like with this one right here, it's almost like a shabby sheet cake. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What does it take to do that? Because that's not slathering it on. That's no, that layering. is um, rolling out fondant and just tearing it piece by piece and applying it. So uh -huh. that that's pretty time consuming, but it's cathartic. Yeah, I, was, I get my Zen place and do it. Yeah. Okay. Let's move yeah. on over here. Because as okay. I said, I, I cannot believe that these are actually not like silk or real flowers. And it's such a fine petal on there. Yes. This entire thing is edible. It is edible. Um, just yeah, for lot of sugar purposes, you know, it's a dummy cake inside. But this is chocolate covered. You know, the styrofoam. You can eat all the flowers. Just you know, don't eat the wires that are holding. Yeah. I, would I, just, there, yeah. I would just love to see people like in an office, like sitting there. They walk in and they're eating roses. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. So well, let's. See, how yeah, do you do that? Show that you. Is the time part. Absolutely, because um, this ranunculus, this flower right here, there's actually 73 petals on each flower. How long so, does it usually take you to do something like this? A ranunculus takes an hour, oh an hour gosh. at a time. Okay. So all you gotta do is you get your little petal. An hour for a ranunculus? For a ranunculus, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. And you thin it. Okay. Just gotta go around the edges. You got pushed kind of hard. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, there you go. I see. Yeah, yeah. there's that natural kind of curve to it. Exactly. And I'm going to have you put that right here in this veiner. We have so many things that help us as cake artists that just kind of show, you know, the detail that we don't actually have to put in. You can just get it and we can see. Yeah. And then, to the point you said earlier about taking about an hour to do, uh, you know, you, you have a cost associated with these cakes because Absolutely. you're getting over the top cakes. Yes. So people have to understand it's the labor that goes into this, not hours just the and hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's the cake that people will all be talking about. There right? you go. It's a memory. Yeah. You're, you know, mm -hmm. you're, you're giving people memories too. So then you cup it just like that. Here. 
Well, have you cut that one? And then for wedding cakes, of course, the thing is, do you remember the dress? And the cake. And the cake. Right. Yes. People go, oh, what a pretty dress. Now onto the cake, please. Because <laughs> we want to eat cake. All right? And then, really, all you do is you attach it with water. So you just kind of take it. And just let it remember. Okay. Absolutely. Beautiful. That is so very cool. Can you do that 73 times? Yeah. All right. We, we say constantly on the show because we have a lot of eating segments on the show, can yes. you tell? Uh, but but uh, that it's kind of been a renaissance in food and then baking as well. But baking is a little bit different. I remember asking Bobby Flay once. I said, what's the one thing you can't do? Because uh, we hang out all the time. What's the one thing you can't do that you wish you could do? And he said, baking is a whole other deal. He goes, you can kind of play with cooking and add things and take things away. Mm -hmm. But in baking, that's where science and It's a science, together. absolutely. And sometimes it goes awry. Yeah. <laughs> what you have to say to those kids who think, okay, when I grow up, that's what I want to do. We have cupcake shops today, which we never had before. You have cookies that we never had before. It was always that thing that we just kind of baked at home. If you you only knew that you could have gotten your home Susie home baker and like sold cookies for two dollars and seventy five cents a piece, right? Uh, but what do you have to say to those kids who would like to make it a career? Follow your passion, and if you want to do it, do it, and be really creative with it. Come up with new flavors, new techniques. You can you can just if you're passionate about it, you can do it. All right, absolutely. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. This is amazing. For more information on the chocolate llama, head over to our website, GreatDayHouston.com. Well, is it